Gospel of December 21st, 2015, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary set out in those days and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant lived in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment of your, the, the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb lived for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what, what, what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us take a, first, a peek of the first reading, which is from a very dear book, The Song of Songs. And it says, Hark, my lover, here he comes, springing across the mountains. My lover speaks, he says to me, Arise, my beloved, my dove, my beautiful one, and come. For see, the winter is past, the rains are over and gone, the flowers appear on the earth, the time of pruning the vines has come, and the song of the dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its figs, and the vines in bloom give forth fragrance. Arise, my, my beloved, my beautiful one, and come. Let me see you, let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet and you are lovely. Some exegetes say that this song of songs was written and most likely they are, they, they are right by Solomon to one of his many wives. Solomon, however, as a king of Israel, was a prophet and undoubtedly was inspired and moved by the Holy Spirit. And so what I see and what I believe when I read from the Song of Songs, is the love of Jesus Christ with every soul, every human soul. And it is very beautiful. Today I would like not only to say about the, the souls of each of us, but especially about the Virgin Mary. Hark my lover, he says to me, Arise, my beloved, my dove, my beautiful one, and come. The winter is past, the rains are over, the flowers appear. The song of the dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its figs, and the vines in bloom give forth fragrance. Arise, my beloved, my beautiful one, and come. Let me see you. Let me hear your voice. Your voice is sweet and you are lovely. Would it had not been lovely, the face of the Virgin Mary, when she was holding her little child, when she, she was feeding him, when she was caressing him, speaking to him and helping him learn to speak. Wouldn't the little boy, Jesus Christ, look at her with great love? It is a very tender moment, but not only for them, for her, but also for us. What does this phrase mean? The winter is past, the rains are over and gone. Winter, I would like to equate today as our old age. When most of us pass through the old age, and we reach the end of our way in this world, then we are brought into the presence of our Lord. And then, perhaps, if we are worthy, 
we will hear those words. The winter is past. The rains are done, are over. The flowers appear on the earth. Arise, my beloved, my beautiful one, and come. It doesn't matter that we are men, that we are men. We should not we should stop thinking about Jesus Christ just as a mere man and remember that he is above all God. And as God he enjoys the presence of our souls. And it is not necessarily and not at all that we have to that we have to do anything other than love of the creature for their God. And those words are beautiful. Let me hear your voice, let me see you. You are lovely. If we allow ourselves to be transformed by the Holy Spirit, then we will become Godlike by the energy of the Holy Spirit. Just as St. Gregory of Palamas wrote, by the energy of the Holy Spirit, we will be divinized, we will be made God. Also, one of the Greek fathers, Athanasius, used to say that. And that's exactly what we see in Mary. Out of love, the obedience, and out of obedience, faith, believed, and out of belief, work, lives, living in a way that is coherent with what he thinks, what, what she thinks and believes. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord will be fulfilled. That is a very great contrast between the Virgin Mary and the, prof and, and the priest Zechariah. The priest which was trained to serve God could not believe. And yet this young maiden, this young virgin was able, was capable of believing something that was incredible. And out of that started living, started acting coherently. That is exactly what we should do ourselves. It is not enough to say or think nice words. That is not enough. We have to be transformed. We have to let God transform ourselves. And the only way to do that is really to prepare ourselves. In a few days we will be celebrating Christmas. And again it is a good time to ask for that for that present that we should give Jesus and the one that we could ask from him, which is our heart in the figure of a drum. That it should be cleaned, ours should be clean, in order for us to give us to give him our heart and to receive God's heart. And we receive Him, when we receive His heart, then we will be transformed. If we allow ourselves to be transformed, then we will act and live according to God's will, just as Mary did. Until we meet in heaven. God bless you all, brothers. <laughs>